Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Q. And have you ever created a report, published the report out, and then your report consumers come back and go, hey, this is a nice report. I like this report. But when I select a slicer or a value from a filter, can you update the title? Have you ever ran into that? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Stay tuned. If you're finding this for the very first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the videos from both Adam and myself. Dynamic titles and slicers. I thought you did a video on this. Well, I did um, this video called Dynamic Labels and people still had questions. I went back and I was looking through the comments and the questions They're like, well, Patrick, what if I have multiple slicers or if I have a filter that people are using, how do I build my dynamic title based on multiple selections. And someone actually posted a question saying, hey Patrick, if I have three filters and I select one filter, update the title. If I select another item from the filter or the slicer, update the title, right? And on and on and so forth. How do you do it? You didn't show it in your video. All right, so enough of all this talking. You guys know what I like to do. Let's do what? Let's head over to my laptop. Okay, so let's say you design this this beautiful report right here, this lovely report, and people are selecting years, and then they select a country, and then a category, but they like the report, they go, the report is nice, but I'd like for this title to update based on the items that you have selected. And you go, but my report, why do you wanna change? And they go, no, 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 I like the report. Let's update that title. Let's fix this. And you go, I know how to do that. Patrick did a video on it. I'll show you. Let me go do it. Hang on. I'll be right back. The first thing you're going to do is we're going to open up the field list and we're going to create a couple of base measures, a couple of base measures. First, I'm going to say new measure. And what I'm going to do is for each one of the slicers, I'm going to create this base measure that gives me the selected value. So I'll call this one like selected year. I can type equals something like this, right? Selected value and the selected value function basically returns the value when there's only one item filtered or uh, item uh, value in the specified column, right? So if I have a slicer and only select one thing, it'll return that value. So if there's one value selected on calendar year, it'll return that value. Otherwise, we'll say we just return all years and you can put whatever you want right here i'm not really going to use this um, when designing out the final measure but you can do whatever you want okay so you can do something like this and then you, you guys know how what marco and alberto says if it's not formatted it's not dax so i'll put the formatted version there right and so we'll go ahead and check it validate it make sure it's valid and then we have that one and then we repeat those steps for each one of those. So let's do that. So we're gonna say new measure. So now we have our three base measures, right? And they 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 all do the same thing. Um, they basically say if there's a if there's a single selection on this, return it, otherwise return this alternate value. What I'm gonna do, just because I am me, I'm gonna head over here and all three of these, I'm gonna put them in a folder called titles, right? Just to kind of group it make it easier for me to find them, all right? So I'll head back over to my report view. Now I have these two. I have one for sales numbers, which contains all my measures for my sales number stuff, and then everything that creates uh, for my titles. All right, so now I have these base measures. So now that I have these base measures, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna leverage those base measures to actually build out that title. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Well, Patrick, I probably can do this in, the, in one piece of code, one measure, you absolutely can. But I'm doing this for education purposes, just so you can kind of see more of how this works um, and to provide a more descriptive approach of how you would actually implement this, okay? Um, and another little tidbit, I'm not gonna talk about if you select multiple values in the slices in this video. Maybe I'll come, maybe later I'll do another video on that, but I'm just focusing on selecting a single value. Okay, enough of all this talking, back to my laptop. So now that I have the base measures, I'm gonna actually create my report title measure. All right, so I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna say new measure. And we're gonna get us a little real estate and we're gonna make this bigger. And we're gonna say report title 
equals. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna start a measure up, all right? This is where we'll use a function called combine values. It just combines the, the values that we supply delimited by whatever the limit the limited you supply. So we're gonna just say delimit this by space. And the very first thing we're going to return is selected year. So we just do selected year and um, we're gonna say selected year, we're gonna start just with that one. So what combined values is gonna do is, it's gonna combine selected, whatever the value of the selected year is with that string sales for and put a space between it. That's all it's gonna do for now. We'll start with that base measure. So we'll click check here to validate our DAX. And now we have our report title. So now it's there. And now you can see I have a couple of a couple of tabs here. We're gonna go, we're gonna look at this one first with slicers. And if you stay tuned to the end of the video, we'll look at the one for filters. So we'll go here to dynamic titles. And now you can see I have a card at the top and all I'm gonna do is select that card and then I'm gonna drop report title into the fields for that card. And then what you'll see is it says all, it says all sales for, right? All year sales for. And it says all year sales for because I haven't selected a year, right? And that was the requirement. As I select the years, return what return the selected year that was a requirement but not just that right i want to return i want to continue to make that label that title dynamic based on the other filters on the page and we'll continue to do that as i explain how you implement this dax all right back to my laptop okay so now i have all year sales for and now watch this because i'm using that base measure in my dax if i choose 2015 all right, my my title will update to 2015. Everything on the report updates, obviously, but now I'm saying 2015 sales for, right? 2016 sales for, you get the picture. But now we need to say, okay, we wanna say 2017 sales for this particular category for this country, in this country, right? So we'll continue to build this out. So now we have the first part. And what we're gonna do is go back to that DAX and now you can see I have selected year sales four, right? And so I'm gonna give me a little more real estate here, comma, and then we're gonna do selected category, right? Select the category, and I'm gonna say ampersand, because I'm gonna build out this part of the string in, and I could have used another another uh, comma there, and then I'm gonna do select the country. I put county, but it should be country. I need to go update that. So now I've built out how I want this to look. Combine values, selected year, sales for, select the category, and um, in, so whatever category I select in this country. So let's go back. 2000 sales for all categories in all countries. That's because in my selected value, I said all categories in all countries if a country wasn't selected. So let's go ahead and choose a country. And so I'm gonna choose a country. And now you'll see that it's saying 2000 sales for all categories in Canada, right? In France, as I select different different countries, you can see how my title's update. And if I select a different year, my title updates. This is great, I'm on the right path. So now let's try something out with categories. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose accessories. And it says 2000 sales for accessories in Australia. 2000 sales for clothing in Australia. This is working great. This is exactly what we were looking for. So, but now they say, Patrick, I wanna change the terminology a little bit on that for accessories. I wanted to, I wanted to say for this, for the accessory category, because I wanna know that, I, I know that Australia is a country and I know we're talking about this year, I know what 2014 is, but I really don't know what accessory is. And I wanna kinda uh, explicitly tell them that ex accessory is a category. So watch this, you can use you know, that base measure and a little bit more DAX to make it a little more flexible. Back to my laptop. So we're gonna round this out by modifying this just a little bit. And so I've already written all of the code for this. And so I'll, I'll put this in and then I'll explain what I, what I got going here, all right? So basically I've added a variable for category because I'm saying, hey, if you have one filter on my category, I want you to say the category and that category. If there's not one filter, just say all categories and then um, do the combine, right? Uh, right? Let me get the last part of this. 
So now it's going, it checks that filter. And so then I do combine and it builds out that stream. Selected year, sales for whatever I return in my category. You can see I'm still using that base measure, just kind of customizing it a little bit in this country, just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and check this to make sure it's all good. And then now you can see 2014 sales for the accessories category in Australia. If I uncheck it, it's gonna say, 2014 sales for all categories in Australia. And if I select bikes, it automatically updates. What? This is bananas. I can take my labels, my, my titles to the next level just by doing just a tiny bit of DAX. And guess what? There's a link. There's a link on the report. You can download a sample of it and you can try it out and kick the tires yourself. But wait, but wait, I want to show you one more thing. Guess what? This not only works with slicers, but maybe you want to get that real estate back and you're using the filter pane. Does it work with the filter pane? Let's head back to my laptop. I'm going to show you. So I made another little page over here, dynamic title called filters, right? With filters. And if you click that tab, you see I've taken all of the filters, I mean, all of the slices away. If I, I'm gonna collapse all of these, if I expand out my filters, you can see I've added the year here. What happens if I select it? I'm gonna choose 2011. Up, oh, 2011 for all categories. What if I select a category? What if I select bikes? Oh, look at there. And what if I select country? Bam, France. Wow, not only does it select work with the slicers, but it also works with the filters and it will absolutely work with a combination of the two. All right, what do you guys think? I hope this answered the question for whoever asked this on our YouTube channel. Let me know, do you have any other questions? Do you have any comments? Are you doing this today? Are you taking different approaches? I love to know. Let's continue the conversation where? In the comments below. If it's your first time visiting the guy in the cube channel, hit that subscribe button. If you like my video, give me a big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.